Hey, this is Dana White from the UFC, and you're watching ProMMANow.com. Hey, guys, Daniel Theodore here for ProMMANow.com with Julie Kezzi. Right after her fight, that was an awesome fight. I mean, it was exciting. Ah! Here, yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. Here the women are. They're on the big stage. Three big fights here today at Strike Force. You've been calling Invicta fights. First off, before we get into the fight, how do you feel just in general about WMMA getting out there and really getting what it deserves now? Well, I think that it's about time, but honestly, I think this year has gone even just the We've gone a, under a huge evolution as, as uh, a recognizable force in, in the sport, and I think this year especially there's been a lot of spotlight, about a, a lot of attention on the women in the sport, and I hope it continues to go that way. I think it will if you put on fights like that. It was a great fight. I went to the stands just to watch it. Really one of the most looked forward to fights on the card that for myself, I've been, you know, from Hook and Shoot Revolution, I've been, you know, covering uh, women's MMA. Now the fight, first round, you were totally in control. It looked like she started flat. You had great takedown defense. Um, you know, you're getting your combinations off. Got the sidekick knocked down to the chest area. That looked pretty cool. Yeah, that was super fun. You know, that's uh, like 25 years of Taekwondo right there. Might as well come out at some point, right? Stop sidekick. I like it. You know, and the second round went a little bit more her way. You got, you, you, she got a takedown. Um, you ended up in kind of a weird scramble when we plot the position at the end. Yeah, I should have executed that too. I train the Omoplata all the time. I just, I was like, she's just holding me coach. And he's like, no, she's not. <laughs> Work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she then third round, you come back, you're on fire. You're doing great in the third round. She ducks into a right high kick. It looks like things are going great for you. Um, you know, you want to take it from there. And then I, how edited is this? <laughs> then I blankety blank the blank up and got caught. Well, you defended well. You were hugging here, I think, right? Yeah, you were cross. Um, what happened in the second round, you don't ever want to, I don't want to take credit away from her win because she beat me. She armbarred me and she stayed on it and hats off to her. Um, I, I, I popped my shoulder in the second round. I don't know what's going on with my left shoulder. We're going to get doctor clear it, but I was having such a hard time getting the stack on that left side. Every time I would do it, I felt like, ah, my shoulder. Yeah, and it was dumb. I should have fought through that pain and won the fight, and you know, that's just a lesson I have to go back and learn, but some, something's going on, we're gonna get checked out. It, it probably was a good minute, minute and a half. You were stacked on top before she finally got you to her back. You were near the cage. I think you tried kicking off the cage runaway escape. She must have uh, ruddered, controlled you back the other way. Yeah. Then you went like crazy girl flexibility style. Like, yeah, right? Like, yeah. right? <laughs> at, that, at that point, was, was anything popping, or you were still good at that point? Until uh, you know, I was good on my, honestly, yeah. Uh, I, I should have let it break like she did, that bleh. but um, yeah, uh, it was just one of those things. Um, I, I, my left shoulder, I just felt so, you know, you don't want to make excuses, but I, I felt incapacitated. I was like, what is going on here? Why can't I get pressure? And, okay. and it just, I messed up. I blankety blank blank up. It's a tough sport. Things happen. I, you know, it was a great fight. I think you're on your way to winning that fight in the first and third round, but, you know, congrats to her for coming back after a heck Absolutely. kick. I mean, that's, Absolutely. That probably would have knocked me out, ducking into it like that. I, I mean, honestly, I really feel that way. Um, so, you know, I, I think it was a good performance by you. You were keeping the distance great in the first round. You were sprawling great, head control, everything looked really great. And, you know, I can't look forward to your next fight. And I think you do a great job calling Invicta as well. I really do. You and Kingbo are awesome. And um, anything else you want to talk about or uh, just plug? Website, uh, Twitter, yeah, I'll, you know, you can follow me at, at Jules K underscore fighter, but I just want to say thank you to my coaches and my team for coming out. You know, I had some really, really great coaches in my corner this time and some people behind the scenes like John Wood helping me uh, progress my game, but yeah, or my game, my game. Um, but, you know, Greg Jackson, Mike, Mike Winklejohn and Joey V. Senior, John Wood, thank you guys so much. Speaking of Winks, Martinez, sorry, I, coach. I call him Winks. I don't know if he's cool with that. Winklejohn, I mean, he, he, he doesn't quite get a, is the name out there enough credit as he deserves. I mean, I, I think he pretty much handles the striking for the most part. He's not, uh, yeah, he does. Um, but, you know, he's not somebody who, uh, you know, he, he's got a full time, yeah, he's got a full time job in addition to this and a wife and a family. He's, just, he's not really somebody who lurks forums and, like, cares what people think about him. Speaking of lurking forums, do you lurk the underground forum? I kind of lurk the other ground more than the underground. I'm not oh, gonna. That's lie. exciting. Yeah, <laughs> not that not. The underground's a little bit too negative for Spider, but the other ground is kind of funny. Kind of funny. Yeah. Not the tap out for him or nothing. Uh, no. But, but like comic, <laughs> comic books or movies or yeah, no, just I, like the crazy talk. I, I really think there's some funny creative people on there. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the other ground. I'm not gonna lie. Are you and Brandon Vera both? So that's all right. Um, before we go, Sarah Kaufman, have you worked with her for this fight? Yeah, we trained for this fight, and I want to say, Sarah, I took the armbar tonight, so you're fine. You're good. Interesting. <laughs> I took it, so we're good here. You got it. Sarah Kaufman, right-hand knockout? Sarah Kaufman, by however she wants.
You heard it here first. All right, guys, go to ProMMANow.com for all your information. Follow me as well, Dan the Wolfman, on Twitter, YouTube, and that stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you.